This is East Asia Tonight. Good evening, I'm Oteli Edwards. Tonight's top stories from East Asia, the yo-yo yen. We track a wild day for the Japanese currency and the ripple effects of this shift on businesses and consumers. Meanwhile, reactions pour in from both camps after Japan's ruling LDP loses all three crucial by-election seats to the main opposition party amid a slush fund scandal. And China's leading EV makers go all out to woo the younger tech-savvy crowd at the Beijing Auto Show as Tesla clears a big hurdle, China's stringent data security requirements. And China hints at retaliation after U.S. President Joe Biden signed into law legislation that includes measures to boost Taiwan's defenses. Also ahead on East Asia tonight, we'll take you on board the USS Kenley, the latest addition to America's Pacific Fleet, as lawmakers in Washington decry a shortage of warships compared to China. And we'll meet some North Korean defectors who discover that the reality of life in the South is not quite how they imagined it would be. The problem child of the currency markets capturing attention again today. The Japanese yen taking traders on another wild ride, hitting a fresh weak point and then bouncing back, sparking furious speculation. Well, CNA's Olivia Mazuki tracking all the action for us. Olivia? Yes, I'll tell you, a quick rebound followed another milestone for the Japanese currency when it briefly touched the multi-decade low of 160. Let's take a look at the graphics now. The Without a bottom line. And coming up on East Asia tonight, how aid from Japan could transform the lives of some 35,000 Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh. Officials from Japan's ruling and main opposition parties have responded to the results of the lower house by-elections held over the weekend. Saifubari smile, CNA, Bogor. And that wraps up Monday's East Asia Tonight. Don't forget your headlines anytime at cna.asia and cna938 radio. And you can also find us on all the socials, Facebook, YouTube and X. Thanks for watching.